Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the YouTube world, CJ Rose is back in the building. Welcome back to the channel. All right. We got a busy weekend ahead of us because let me tell you about my weekend right now. The amount of things I got to watch, the amount of things I got to record, it's crazy. First off, I just started binging Suits. If you never watched the show Suits, I advise you to watch that show. I'm addicted, bro. I'm on season two. Show's fire. Yeah, this show is fire. I'm like, damn. Thank God it took me so long to watch it so I could binge this whole joint. It's fire. But on top of that, I didn't watch The Shy from Friday, so I got to watch that. I didn't watch Power Force that came out Friday as well. I got to watch that. Uh, they got a new Kurt Angle documentary on Peacock. I really want to watch that because, dog, if you watch the Ric Flair and the Cody Rhodes one, you, you listen, Peacock may go three for three. So I definitely got to catch that. What else are we doing? Oh, All Out is tonight. <laughs> so I got to watch that. That's about three and a half hours. Well, actually two because they put matches on for collision. So I got to see what those are about. On top of that, I still got to record all my 2K stuff because 2K24 comes out Friday. And then the next week, Mortal Kombat comes out. And I plan to record that too. Damn, there's a lot going on. As well as, I got to prepare for Spider-Man 2 that comes out next month. I got way too much to do, bro. Way too much. I am... I'm, I'm floundering here. I'm floundering here. But... Amidst all that, we're here to talk about something that happened yesterday that I was aware of and I didn't didn't really look into because I don't really go on X during pay-per-view days unless I'm watching them. If I'm physically watching them at the time it's happening, then yeah, I'm on X the whole time, right? But... If I'm if I'm at work, I'm not on X. But I have heard. I've heard. And to give you more context, I just watched Collision from yesterday. Just finished watching that. And before the show started, Tony Khan, the uh the uncomfortable guy, <laughs> swear to God, the uncomfortable guy, Tony Khan. Um Talk to us about the hard decision that he had to make. Because one, Phil Brooks, better known as CM Punk, as of yesterday, is fired from all elite wrestling. Because of the incident with Jack Perry. Tony Khan fired him specifically because he felt his staff and himself were in harm's way and not safe because um if you read what the incident really was it was to the point that's that um monitors were getting knocked down that like mad things were getting knocked down i think a couple monitors fell on tony khan and everything like that so because he physically was able to see this in person he felt you know what cm punk i gotta let you go all right. Uh, oh, man. What what can you say about this, man? What can you say about this? It, it was coming. Like, like at this point in time, the way CM Punk has been moving and been talking, this was going to happen at some point. The worst part about this is that this could have been avoided. That's the worst part about it. This whole thing could not have happened. Like, CM Punk... Could have just listened to Jack Perry. Could have just heard the comment Jack Perry said on live TV. Because I'm sure he. Because I'm sure he was. He was right there in the gorilla position. Because I'm. A, because he he started all. He started all in with Samoa Joe. They were the first match, so he was standing right there. He heard it, and then he approached Jack Perry. He was like, "You got a problem with me?" And then Jack Perry was like, "Well, you heard what I said." The next thing that came out of his mouth, he should have said. He should, he should have took accountability right there. 
Instead, he was like, you know, I could kick your ass, right? And then proceeded to choke him out. Like, like, like that whole thing could have been avoided. Like, it, it could have been avoided. I get it. I get it. Jack Perry was being petty himself. But, dog, all he said was words. He didn't put no hands on you. It's a whole different story if you somebody put hands on you. Punk did that. Punk decided, I want, I want to put hands on you. And that's what happened. So in that regard, I see where Tony Khan's come from, especially considering the fact that again, um, again, he was standing right there. So at least this time he saw it. See the CM Punk elite thing that happened? He wasn't there for that. He was literally in front of the media and that was going on behind him. He didn't even know what was going on. So it was more here, he say, she say, but then he suspended them. So it was like, well, I mean, you know, it's just suspend both parties and just call it a day. Instead, here we are. Here we are. At a situation that, once again, all CM Punk could have did and should have done was just, um, just walk away. He, that would have said that. That would have shown CM Punk changed. If that situation right there, he just walked away. But because of that, he became the biggest headline coming out of last weekend. Instead of everybody talking about All In, and considering the fact AEW just keeps hammering and hammering and hammering the point of there was 81,000 people. We get it. We understand. All right, cool. You don't have to keep repeating it every two seconds. CM Punk could have just sat there. So you know what? All good. Shouldn't get mad. Rattled. But he got rattled, he got mad, and then he decided to put hands on Jack Perry. Which I feel like you should not have done. But then again, Jack Perry just seems too inexperienced at this point in time. Like, the light is shined upon him. He should not... Like, the light being shined upon him, he should know what to do at this point. But I don't think he's had anybody that, to help him. I mean, he was with Christian... He was with Christian Cage at one point. I'm sure Christian Cage gave him some type of advice, but I don't know if he gave him all of the advice. But Jack Perry's still in his 20s, man. So I mean, he's he's got to learn. Hopefully, this is hopefully this is a learning experience for him. He is still suspended, so hopefully he's learned from this, and hopefully when he comes back, he. He understands what's ha what's going on, what happened. But this CM Punk thing, man, man, it's like every time CM Punk just breathes, <laughs> it's a problem, bro. <laughs> like it's like God, like I never seen somebody who's just like, man, he is just so hated and scrutinized to the point where it's like, damn. The hell more can we do? You know what I'm saying? I don't know, bro. I don't know. This This is wild. It sucks. But I mean, it is what it is. I'm sure Tony Khan didn't want to do it. Obviously, he didn't want to do it. I mean, <laughs> the way CM Punk walked over that, walked all over that man. I'm pretty sure he didn't want to do it, but <laughs> hey, what can you do? What can you do? Um. Huh. I don't know what else to say, man. This is. I think we should all saw this coming. I think we should all saw this coming. I think we should all knew this was gonna happen at some point. I guess. I guess suspending him wasn't enough. He had to come to a unanimous decision. With not only himself, but with his staff as well. So, boom. Here we are. Where is CM Punk going to go now? I have no idea. Punk is about is 40, what is he, 45? He's in his 40s. So, I don't think there's much Punk can do at this point. Um, I doubt WWE's going to knock. I doubt WWE's going to knock at the door. I doubt it. If he... Listen... If he had the ability to do everything he wanted in AEW, he ain't going to have that type of luxury in WWE. Nope. Nope. He ain't going to have that like, type of luxury. So, hey, I don't know what happened with Punk. 
but I hope, I hope, I hope he's good after that. You know what I'm saying? I hope he's good. Hope he's straight. Whatever the case is. Hope AJ is good. You know what I'm saying? It's all I can say. Just, just wish Punk the best. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. But until then, it's been Rose, man. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the love and support. As always, again, I got to get on my 2K stuff, so I'm about to do that right now. Um, All Out is tonight. I will be watching, but I'll I'll do, once it's done, well, once I'm able to watch the whole thing, I'll do a whole um review on the whole entire show, what I thought about it, <laughs> and everything like that. And yeah, that's all I got. So until next time, peace, love, 100. Here.